First, I want to say I actually agree with the first part of your statement that time can be used to build a strong relationship between two parties. But you know what else is important other than just time? I mean, two people could sit together and never talk and never interact and never engage with each other. And they could just sit next to each other for years and years and years and still know nothing about each other. Isn't that not true? What's equally important to time is the quality of time and, of course, the communication that's encountered between the two parties during that time. It's the communication that occurs during the time of that relationship that really builds the relationship up, wouldn't you say? But if you haven't noticed, the God of the Bible is, by design and by necessity, completely quiet and takes zero action in anybody's lives in any provable way, never really talking to us, never really directly answering our prayers, answering our questions, or letting us get to know him in any way, shape, or form other than reading his archaic Bible. But if you think about it, when you're reading Spider-Man comics, you're not really getting to know Spider-Man, are you? You're actually getting to know Stan Lee, the author of the Spider-Man comic, because Spider-Man... He just isn't real and he can't actually talk to you. Now the same thing goes for the God of the Bible, but that's just the first point. The second point that I want to make is that almost all the agnostic, atheist, slash, non-spiritualist, rationalists that I know have spent more time in the Bible and trying to get to know God than most Christians that I know. That's why they became atheists in the first place. I mean, take me for example. I spent 37 years in Christianity, five of which I dedicated completely and totally to the Word of God, to the Gospel, to evangelism, to understanding theology, and I did a great job at that. spent a lot of time and effort and work and money and everything to spread the Gospel and to get to know God better through spending time with Him. Now, I don't know about you, but when you spend 37, 38 years plus with someone and then dedicate at least five of them to spending your entire life, I mean, quitting your job and doing everything you can just for that person, and that person still doesn't communicate with you whatsoever, yeah, I'd say you get to know that person pretty well. You get to realizing pretty quick that that person either doesn't exist whatsoever or doesn't give a flying flip about anybody. Now, it's typical Christianese to go ahead and end your statements with assumptions about people saying, I can sense your impatience. But to us, your ad hominem attacks on our so-called impatience is nothing more than a projection of your very own impatience with us and with the logic that we're presenting. Thanks for playing. See you next time.